This has been being talked about for a long time, and it finally happened, ooh, dare I say, about two months ago or so. And what happened was Google finally came out and said, we are creating a different search result page for a desktop site and a mobile site. Okay, so basically what that means is if your site is not optimized for mobile and you don't have a mobile alternative to your desktop site, Google is going to punish you. They're gonna say, you should have that already, down with you, and they're gonna send you down the search result rankings and no one's ever going to hear of your website again. So it's super important that you have a mobile website, right? Because everyone uses their phones today. Desktops are kind of a little bit going the way of the landline where everyone searches on their tablet or phone, that is the new mobile experience. That should not come as a surprise, right? You probably use your phone way more than you do a desktop. So today I want to cover four tips to make your site mobile optimized. So real quick before we dive in, let's take a look at the difference between a mobile optimized site and a non-mobile optimized site. So as you can see, in this picture on the right is your non-optimized site and everything's just small and stuck to the middle it's not in one kind of nice long vertical column you'd have to do all this pinching and zooming to read and it's just freaking annoying so that is my current website in a non-mobile optimized layout now on the left is the optimized layout and this probably looks really familiar to you right Everything, all the words are big. They're all vertically aligned in one column so that you can scroll your finger down. All the fonts are appropriate sized. There's a menu at the top that has the little three line, what's called a hamburger menu, so that if you click it, the actual menu will drop down also vertically aligned. So this is the difference between a non-mobile optimized site and a mobile optimized site. Step number one, keep it simple. So you have a home page, sure, but you also have multiple other pages to get stuff in. You don't have to stuff it all on the home page, all right? So we're talking a one column layout. Everything's stacked nicely on top of each other because you're thinking with your finger, right? When people pull up, when you pull up your phone and you scroll down on a website, you're doing this. So everything needs to be stacked nicely on top of each other. It doesn't need to be spread out horizontally, it needs to be vertical, right? Because the smaller things are, it's harder to read. People look like an old person holding their phone up. You don't want that. You want everything nice, centered, and vertically aligned on a phone. So keep it simple. Don't try and cram everything in. Make sure pictures are a nice size. Make sure your text is the right size. Leave white space. Don't be afraid to go less, but just make everything short, simple, and sweet. Step number two for a mobile optimized site, make it fast. So your phone, when especially when people aren't connected to Wi-Fi and they're just using a data source, it loads slower, right? So if you have these huge videos and you have these huge images and you haven't shrunk your image, right? This is only about 500 or so pixels. So if your image is 5,000 pixels wide, then not only does the image, does your phone have to load that whole image and it might be five megabytes, six megabytes, eight megabytes, but then it has to work to condense it down. Now that happens quickly, but it still takes up bandwidth and it still takes up valuable seconds to load your website. So if you're creating the mobile version of your website, shrink your images. Take that normal image that on your desktop site might be a thousand pixels wide and make it 300 wide, all right? Condense it so that your server does not have to do as much work. Also, you can upload it to a site like Optimizilla, and what that's going to do is it's a pixel condenser. So it's going to take all the pixels in your JPEG image that's on your desktop site and condense them. It'll be a little bit less quality, but it's not something that most human eyes can see. It's just a little bit and it combines pixels to make your size, your file size, smaller. So serve up appropriate sized images and video content is step number two. Step three, test your site on different devices. So unfortunately, what might look good on an iPhone 6 might not look good on a Samsung or might not look good on a Pixel phone or might not look good even on an iPhone 8 or an iPhone 10. So you can do this a few different ways. Obviously, if you have a few different devices, you can pull up your site and just make sure everything looks as tidy on 
the other devices as it does on the device you built it on just to ensure a fluid experience. Step number four, make your contact information easy to find. The purpose of most websites is to get people to reach out to you and your business so that you can get leads and you can generate clients and make more money or generate new customers. So make sure your contact information is always easy to find. So there you have it, four ways you can optimize your mobile website. Hope that helped. Please subscribe to the channel if it did. I'm Brandon Stiles. I'm a digital marketer out of Atlanta. If you want to learn a little bit more about me and how I can help your business, check out www.brandonstyles.com and I'll see you next time.